Privet Hunter. The Sanctorum can be a tricky piece of property to manage. Whoa. Hmm? I just realized we're nearly the same age. It's kind of blowing my mind. Why? In my head, you're ancient. No offense. But you've actually lived fewer years than I have. So, are you one of the kids, or the second oldest adult? I don't know how to treat you. I am glad you brought this up. I am unhappy with how you have treated me. Oh. Oh, man, was it the ancient thing? Because... As your elder, I expect breakfast delivered daily outside my room. I'm, I'm not the best cook, but... I... I expect you to launder my battle garb after every mission. There's a washing machine? Magic said we had to use the creek. And walk Charlie twice a day. Do not touch her waist, for its hellish nature will make your hair fall out. <laughs> okay, you're definitely one of the kids. That's an impressively straight face. I never forget a good time. Good girl, Charlie. Blade? What is it? Caught a scent around the Abbey that doesn't belong. It's faint, not enough for anyone else to notice, but it hit me again tonight. How's that dog of yours when it comes to tracking? You two up for a little hunt? I'm sure Charlie could help. And I might be useful too. After you. Let's keep going. You sure that dog knows where she's going? No, but I trust her instincts. At least you're honest. Charlie will be the first to let us know if she cannot find the way. You two have a lot of conversations? I can tell you never had a dog before, Blade. Never got the chance as a kid. Too risky these days in my line of work. Maybe you just need to find the right dog. Haven't found a breed yet. The vamps won't eat out of spite. Oh, I see what you mean. looked like some kind of jacked up shadow hound if i didn't know any better i'd say we just found the bar guest but it can't be the what the bar guest legendary demon dog of the old country kind of thing you'd hear stories about around the campfire a shadow hound could easily be mistaken for a spirit but how would it have gotten here good question but we're not going to find the answer tonight Let's head back before Caretaker locks the doors on us. Damn, that thing is shifty. Looked like it knew we were coming, too. I'm no expert, but that's not our usual portal. Looks like magics, but I don't know. Red? We should head back. Don't want Caretaker to come looking for us. You coming? I have seen Caretaker mad. Me too. We better hurry.
So, word on the street is that the Abbey just got a massive shipment of artisan sodas. I thought we could throw a couple back, like partners on the force in one of those buddy cop movies. I appreciate the sentiment, partner. Awesome! Look, I know you outrank me by a few centuries, but you make me feel like an equal sometimes, and, well, that means something to a kid from Queens. So I guess that makes Caretaker our tough but fair captain. Tony, our quirky hacker guy. Blade can be the grizzled, hard-boiled detective with a heart of gold. Captain Marvel can be the Sarge. Nico, the hotshot rookie who... Peter? Yeah, partner? I am thirsty. So, what flavor soda can I get you? There is more than one flavor? Oh, yeah. There's Thor's Thirst, Black Widow Bubbles, Loki Lime, Radioactive Rockenberry... Radioactive what? You know what? You just chill there, and I'll pick one out for you, partner. Who did you want me to meet? Hunter of the Abbey, may I formally introduce you to... The Hell Ride. Is this different than the one you have at shop class? Uh, no. But this time it's just the three of us. I always like to show her to all my friends and just realize that we've been so busy beating back your mom's forces, I haven't had a chance to give you an up-close look at her. Gorgeous, right? Even without the extra hell sauce, she's a beast. She is one of a kind. As are you, Robbie. Uh, thanks, Hunter. You always make me feel like... I don't know. Like I'm part of this whole thing. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love Nico and the rest of the sons like family. But... Well... Sometimes I feel more like... Invisible by day, rattling chains by night. Know what I mean? You are not a ghost to me, Robbie. Maybe not. But I have a feeling the two of us are gonna haunt the armies of Lilith anyway. Been watching the way you handle yourself out there, Hunter. You're not bad. I was thinking maybe it's time you and I compare moves. Moves? As in combat? More like a friendly competition. A friendly competition, you say? Well, recently resurrected teammate competition has less of a ring to it. The feeling is mutual, Blade. How about we just fight already? Before we begin, is there anything else I should know? Yeah, anything goes. Just don't touch the shades. Now you want to say it or me? Say what? Ding ding. Oh, who's a good kitty? I'm lost. Can I help you? I am just taking a breather between crises. I guess crisis is all either of us have ever known. Sometimes I wonder what my life would be like if I didn't have this burden to carry. What do you mean? Like where I would be, what I would be doing, where I'd spend my retirement. Retirement? Yes, Hunter. Even I dream about life beyond this abbey. Don't you? I do not think about myself. But I know you deserve the rest. You have been at this longer than any of us. It doesn't feel that way. But then again, I avoid looking at calendars. Well, I could spend all day thinking about this. And then nothing would get done. You sound tempted to do just that. 
Oh, Hunter, you have no idea. Come on, I'm sure there's something for us to handle right now. Located a Hydra agent with an unusually high gamma signature, probably from working in close proximity to their recent experiments. If we can capture that agent, we might gain some insight into Hydra's plans. I was expecting a challenge. Let me show you the way. Doubt they're paying you enough for what's about to happen. Impressive. to have your magic on our side, Doctor. Still on my case here? Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Walk in the light. Feeling good. On our side. The advantage is mine. Looks like you've got the agent in custody. Better clear out before Hydra sends a search party. How's it going? Ready for shop class? I am ready. Right on. Wait, what's Tony doing here? It's interesting how you solve the heat problem. Is that a good interesting or a bad interesting? Neither. It's just not what I would have done. Right. <laughs> I 
have no idea what's going on here. Parker didn't invite Tony, did he? I can ask. Okay, I'll hang tight. Okay, before you ask, Tony kinda showed up and started talking. When is the last time Tony Stark was booted from a club? <laughs> it could be today. As funny as that would be to record and post to Superlink, I'd rather recruit him than boot him. I don't know how to talk to rich people. Would you mind? All right. Thanks, Hunter. Hey, boss. Fancy meeting you here. I didn't picture you for the technical type. Wait, no, I'm seeing it. You're someone who's always appreciated horsepower. What brings you here, Tony? I couldn't sleep. Saw Parker slip off with a backpack full of gadgets. I was tired and bored, so I followed him here. You know, the only time I've seen the Howl ride is when it's on fire. You think uh, Robbie will let me poke around under the hood? Popping the hood is how it eats people. Eh, we're safe. I'm canned beef, you're 17th century jerky, and Parker's full of, uh, spider meat. Shop class is open to you. Well, that's nice, boss, but I don't plan to stay if I'm not welcome. Look, this isn't my thing, and I don't want to make it my thing. I'll stick around as long as Robbie and Parker are cool with it. All right. We should ask them. The two of you heard me, right? Uh, yeah. Sure did. So, what do you think? I'll be completely invisible. Like Sue Storm? Like a slightly taller Sue Storm. Yeah, we're happy to have you. I mean, as long as the shop doesn't become a Stark subsidiary, I'm good. Scout's honor. Then welcome to shop class, Tony. All right. You kids do your thing. We have no big threats on the horizon, so today we're going to retool some of our gear. No big threats? What about Lilith? Shop class deals with known quantities. Lilith alters fundamental scientific principles just by existing. She's way out of our league. Besides, we have a ton of ideas in the backlog for these personal prototypes. It all depends on the components at hand. You already gave me the components. Those will come in handy. So, are we good to go on this project? I am ready. I should have guessed. Guessed what? That you wanted to show me another movie. Uh, not just another movie, my favorite movie. It's something I make all my friends watch with me. We are friends now? Well, I, I mean, I think you can be cool when you want to be. I am cool? For a 300-year-old artifact, you're getting there. Why is she wearing that hideous red dress? Oh, you're tearing me apart, Hunter. Pay attention. Well, it is a bit difficult. This movie is rather terrible. It's called Camp Hunter. It's supposed to be a little bad, but in a good way. Besides, it's a cult classic. Kind of like you. I will try and take that as a compliment. You're really starting to fit in with the rest of us, you know? We might just make a midnight sun out of you yet. I have something for you. A gallon of web fluid and a thousand helium balloons? Components for shop class. That's nearly as interesting.
Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. That means a lot coming from you. I miss it out in space, Hunter. It's less... complicated. The closest to the stars I have ever been was studying astronomy and astrology. It's quiet between galaxies. No demons or aliens. Just you and the cosmic wonders. If I took you up there, what would you wish to see? Dealer's choice, Captain. I would like to see what you recommend. Definitely a supernova, then. We'd have to wear special suits and goggles and be parsecs away. The colors, the sheer energetic release of watching a dying star go out with a bang. That sounds cosmically epic. I am not doing it justice. I really should have sent a poet. Assuming we survive your mom's reign of terror, I think I can arrange an intergalactic getaway. How could I possibly say no? A little extra motivation to stop Lilith never hurts. I can't wait, Hunter. You wanted it? You got it. Tony and Doctor Strange may think they're the epicenter of our operations. But we all know this is where the real magic happens. I'm almost getting used to seeing you on your feet again. Almost.